cloud. Woohoo! We're back! And it's week July 29th or August 4th. And this is your weekly forecast with Sophie Wan, an astrologer, and Caitlin Carehart, a numerologist, and sometimes astrologer too. I love that you like did my own little intro yeah. uh, for those of you guys that are watching this and you have not subscribed to Caitlin's channel, there we go. subscribe for our weekly Sub forecast, subscribe and find out what is in store for you cosmically mm -hmm. um, each week. Yes, exactly. So just want to throw that out there before we get going. Yeah, thanks so Caitlin, yeah. please start us off with what is going on in numerology. All right. So this week we're in a week four. Boom. Four, I know, right? So four. <laughs> four is the number of stability. It's the number of foundations. And fun fact, four is also the number of breakthroughs. Okay, so usually- And breakdowns. Yeah, exactly. When you're in the energy of a four, you usually feel very constricted, very boxed in. Mm -hmm. And that's because there's something that you're meant to learn towards the end of this week. Mm -hmm. it, again, it could be small, it could be big, but you feel constricted and that leads to a little bit of a breakdown, which then leads to a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, it's actually a really powerful time to set your intentions for a breakthrough to happen this week. And again, it could be small. It could be like- um, where am I planning my next vacation? I can't figure it out. Or it could be something much bigger. Like, what am I doing with this relationship? Is this someone I want to take seriously and invest in? Is this maybe someone I shouldn't be with? Right. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you. I would definitely recommend setting that intention though. Like what breakthrough are you looking to have this week? Now, with the four energy, it's a really good time to organize and plan. So I always joke that this is like a very big worker bee energy. So work's going to feature really prominently this week. So what is it that you want to like kind of, you know, set yourself up for? Are you working on a course? Are you working on your home, your foundations? Again, organizing and planning are really favored with the four because it is that stable, methodical worker bee energy. Um, focus on details this week. So again, like, the four isn't necessarily like the big picture stuff. It's more of the everyday small tasks that you're doing to, you know, get yourself towards your goals. Um, be very disciplined this week because the four is very disciplined. Uh, again, it's very much about setting a goal and attaining it. So be disciplined in what you're working on, whether that's again, like a meal program or an exercise or <laughs> you could start your diet this week, Sophie. <laughs> She's in London, so that's not happening. Um, and again, like seek stability, focus on your foundations. And I always say, you know, foundations are relative, right? They're obviously the foundations of like work and mm. home and relationships, but where are you building your foundations? Like it, what's taking up most of your time? Is mm -hmm. it your primary relationship? Is it your nine to five job? Is it your, you know, side hustle starting to come more main stage in your life? Is it family? Like what is at the center of your universe right now? And how do you feel about that foundation? Mm -hmm. Does it feel like a healthy foundation that you're building on? Does it feel unhealthy? What changes do you need to make? Again, that is the energy to be focusing on this mm. week. And I don't think I'm forgetting anything about the four. I feel yeah. like four energy is so like get your shit together. It really and is. That's yeah. why I'm like, like, don't fuck around. Boo. Like, I know it's not I'm a fun like, energy. I'm like, I just want to have fun. Um, and four is like, no, you need to like work work hard and get yeah. your shit together. So four is not yeah. fun. It's really not a fun energy. Usually when people come to me and they're having a really miserable time, they're in a four, seven, or a nine. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> like, Buckle up because the four is all about get shit done. You're absolutely Woo. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the numerology. So it's really interesting that we're talking about organizing, planning, because we actually start Mercury shadow period. So uh, Mercury retrograde shadow period. Wow. I don't, did I even say retrograde? I know. And so that's okay. Ugh. So for those of you guys that don't know Mercury retrograde and then definitely don't know the shadow period, mm -hmm. let me just explain this. Mm -hmm. Mercury, Mer Mercury retrograde, Mercury is a planet of planning, communications, like organizing. Uh, retrograde means backwards. So when Mercury is in retrograde, it looks like it's moving backwards. It's actually not. It's, not, it's an illusion. But this energy prompts literally having to reevaluate mm. your plans. Now, reassess, reevaluate. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> and pl planning and you just talked about this four energy yeah yeah yeah. the shadow period is like that pre-period it's like the period leading up to the official start so we're not in mercury retrograde this week guys i just want to disclose like that's not happening this week we're in the shadow period aka the the days in the week leading up to when it actually goes into retrograde mm -hmm. and so you're gonna start feeling that effects of you're in a summer, your plate, you're going to have to review those plans. And you might be like, Oh my God, I got to go back to my foundations and like, what's not working. Yeah. So this really aligns nicely with this four energy in this mercury retrograde shadow period mm. that we are in. Also look out for tech glitches. Yes. A lot of technology seems to go mm -hmm. on the fritz when Mercury is in retrograde yeah. or about to be. So yeah. back up your hard drive, save everything, yeah. like make sure you're all good on that. I front. kind of feel like this is the week where if you have been kind of lazing around and like goofing off and like having a good time and like haven't really been worried or working. Oh no. Okay, Amy. Um, <laughs> Me too. <laughs> then it's kind of like the, okay, like this is the week where you kind of need to like get your shit together before like the retro really mm -hmm. hits. And then, you know, you're like, oh my God, I'm really having to like dive into like coming through my shit. So yeah, and we're gonna obviously go through in much more detail when Mercury at retrograde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we will talk about that next week. More to come on that, but the shadow period is an interesting period. So I just want you to observe, mm. like getting all the these details and like yeah. during, you know, any kind of Mercury retrograde shadow or when you're in their period the focus on the details and that was something that you said about the yeah, four yeah, yeah. so that really aligns nicely with that four energy mm -hmm. i want to note a really great date this week for anybody that's like well can you give us some positives here um <laughs> <laughs> wednesday july 31st the sun is trying the north node really? anything oh that has to do with the yeah. north node the karmic <laughs> node north node south node you have element of destiny fate karma mm. okay and it's a trying trying to are really positive it's with the sun Goodbye. the sun is like life force energy and so this is actually a really positive day so i encourage you if you're really wanting to pick a day to do something specific uh when it comes to work or planning wednesday the 31st so that is going to be a great day. Now, at the end of the week, Sunday, August 4th, we have the new moon. Okay, so when you're talking about the like, oh, like, get your shit together, really start your, you know, yeah, set, yeah, your, intentions. set your intentions. Have you kept saying, yeah, you kept saying, like, set your intentions, set your intentions. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God, yes. Yeah. Has that new I never moon. know the astrology, by the way. I don't yeah. check in before we do this. Yeah. yeah. So um, the new moon is happening and it's in the Western. In Western, it's in Leo, which mm -hmm. is such a vibe. In Vedic, it's in Cancer. Which is moody. And specifically, it's in the lunar mansion Ashlisha, <laughs> which is a mouthful to say. <laughs> <laughs> like a really interesting like name for somebody so it literally means i mean it is someone's name i bet you they're complicated yeah i'm sorry if your name is Ashley, yeah i'm name. sure there's an ashley if ashleisha <laughs> is watching, watching this please comment below and let us know that you're here with us thanks ashleisha <laughs> well it's actually a very powerful lunar mansion because it um the, it's symbolized by the snake and in, Ooh, in life force you know energy. it's life force energy it's actually it's the kundalini mm. and so it's really there's this like a fierceness that comes with this energy and so with this new moon you're you're really prompted to kind of like get it together you're really prompted to like activate kundalini energy which is life force energy mm. and it's interesting because Ashlisha actually means like the like intertwining. Mm -hmm. And so an attachment, like where are you really attached to? And you really talked a lot about foundations and like, yeah. and stuff. And so when you really think about what are you attached to? What are your attachments? Like you kind of have to be ruthless of like, what is serving you? What's not serving you? What is holding yeah, yeah, yeah. you up and what's bringing you down? And so this new moon, which is, they're all about new intentions. That's the new moon mm -hmm. is about really evaluating these things right especially with this mercury retrograde shadow period which is all about evaluation and then you have that energy of like really reviewing the four which is like getting to the details setting yeah. those intentions with the the new moon so this is a really great week to um think of all of these things that 
Caitlin has suggested in terms of numerology, but then it goes so nicely with the astrology, astrology yeah. of what is happening. So mm -hmm. I really urge you to set those intentions, be really clear about like, what's serving you, what's not serving you. What are you like intertwined in really activate that Kundalini life force energy and take like, a yoga class. get your shit together. Like, yeah. Get it together. <laughs> take a yoga class. Like really take a yoga class. Yeah. Like, no, you need to get your shit together. <laughs> you can get your shit together in a, yoga class. You can take a Kundalini yoga class. <laughs> yeah. You can do some Absolutely. chanting, some breath yeah. work. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I love that. Of different yoga. Some of them are yeah. like core power yoga. Oh yeah. Sponsor yeah. us. <laughs> God, <just> be, <laughs> I don't even live near one. Go I'm in London. Yeah. <laughs> Go to Ashley shall let us know. Okay. Well, <laughs> so anyways, that is this is uh, our week. <laughs> it's week. a four, so buckle up. But yeah, I think buckle up with yeah. this retrograde that's coming for you. Um, I'm sorry, I don't mean to make it sound doom at all. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it's one week, one week to get your shit together, together before Mercury retrograde comes, and mm -hmm. then we're all fucked. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's what people do on Instagram now. They're like, <laughs> everything's <laughs> what okay i think we're gonna end on this note now i'm jet lag sophie is sophie Wan, and uh we'll see you next, next week, week. <laughs> oh my god <laughs>